Oh! <laughs> yeah. That's where the nausea comes this is from. It's cute. Yeah, it is cute. I, I think it's just novel. See, I get an education uh, yeah. when I come but to see, Dr. Yeah. So the I think my long-standing patients do know that I can be trusted with whatever they tell me, no matter how embarrassing it might be, because it might be helpful in helping them to live the best uh, life that they possibly can. It was awful, Dr. Johnson. I didn't, and but you got the lab work there that that, that, that uh, was done. And similarly, I want students to, over, over time, learn that this is a, um, the best job in the world. And it's a job where people will tell you their innermost secrets, and uh, they need to feel safe. They need to feel that I will honor their trust and I will protect them in any way I can. I want you, between now and then, to quit smoking entirely. Okay, this is what I want you to say. I will give it my best effort. I will give it my best effort. And I will pray twice daily and ask God to take the taste of cigarettes out of my mouth. Say it. I will pray to God twice a day to take the taste of cigarettes out of my mouth. Thank you. That's all I need to hear about that. He's the kind of doctor that you, if you're worried or something happens and you're upset, you can come talk to him. And he always makes you feel better. The laughing and going on. <laughs> we enjoy. <laughs> but he's really a good doctor. Sometimes I actually feel like I should be available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And I think from the very beginning it's always been that feeling that maybe I would do something wrong or that it wouldn't be enough or that it wouldn't be good enough. Of course I've come to realize that it's really not mine after all, it's God's. I'm a tool. And as I often tell people, I'm the screwdriver God uses in his left hand when what he really needed was a pair of pliers. <laughs> but at least I'm a tool. And that's kind of nice.